Could we talk a little bit about the transformation that the Wren Building here on campus was um, put through to make it into George, King George's throne room? When we saw the Wren Building, of course, we thought we have to use this building. It's so magnificent. The campus is so magnificent. William and Mary does such, such a fabulous job of, of uh, uh, preserving the building, um, knowing how old it is. You know, that's something that's remarkable to us. That said, um, it needed to have a few other qualities, you know, given to it. Um, and w through the miracle of uh, CG graphics, we were able to do that. So replace the ceiling and put up tapestries and so on. So I think you'll see that, that's in this next clip. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll sort of see that transformation. But um, to have the foundation of this magnificent building, that was great. And we, uh, Craig and I both uh, ran at it to take advantage of it. So thank you so much. Really. And, and Susan is the person most directly responsible for that building. Were, were, were there panic moments about uh, yes. what might happen? Yeah, there, were, <laughs> there were a few, but by and large, um, you, you know, Barry was the face of the, the project and was great to work with. Uh, you know, and, and, and one of the things, in, and particularly the Virginia Film Office, wants these relationships. So they want to keep us happy and they want to keep the people making films happy. So it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very interesting group of people who are invested in, in and wanting to wanting everyone to to feel good about this, yeah. you know, there's a few little things, but you know. <laughs> Spider-Man uh, didn't come swooping down. Really, uh, all the thanks goes to you, Susan, and, and the great people that work with you. I mean, it's it's a hard thing when you know to say yes um, when the building's so important because you know the day that we come to shoot, there's 50 trucks and there's 150 crew and there's equipment and all that gets rolled out into your space. And so, you know, is reason to worry, no doubt. But uh, right. I, I think we um, will be able to come back. Don't <laughs> Babes in the nest, yearning to fly free. Hungry chicklings, cheep, cheep, cheep. Tell me, Henry, have you ever observed hatchlings in a scrape? No, Your Majesty. Ah, well, that's your problem, you see. You don't observe nature, but all of God's mysteries and secrets are revealed in the natural world if one has the wisdom to observe. In the tern's nest, one must see chicks, tiny beaks open, crying for mother bird to feed them. You see, it is the same for England and one's own colonies and dominions. You are from the Americas, Miss Wright? Hi, Your Majesty. Mm. New Jersey. But my sister lives in your Pennsylvania. Does she now? Aye. And chirping more happily, I expect, now that your army has driven the accursed rebels out of her home in Philadelphia. 